Hey friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post weekly workouts so that you can stay strong, fit, and fierce with me each and every week. If you're new here, make sure that you consider subscribing. Today's waist trimmer workout is the fourth workout in our March Madness series. All of the exercises that we execute today will slim and trim the waistline, creating a strong, sexy core. If you get an amazing burn with me today, I want you to click that like button below and show me some love. Now let's get ready to whittle that middle. Alright guys, starting in a seated position, we have our out and ins. I'll take you into a modification here. So I'm going to take out, in press, single leg. So this is your modification right here. Out and in with that heel, press. So you're sinking back into that C curve, bending through the elbows, and then striking that heel forward and press. Out, pressing through the heel of the palm. Now, if you want to take this into the advancement, start to lift both legs. And if you want to, you can always start off with a double leg. Maybe alternating between, if need be, press. Out and in. Scoop the needles to the spine, drop the shoulders firmly down the back. Out and in. You'll start to maybe feel the thighs here, so I want you to flex. The toe tips really strong to get out of the hips and more into your core work here. Out, in, press. Squeeze, breathe, firing out that core right away, out in press, reach, one last one from here, we come down into our forearms, reaching the legs high, give me a double pulse, and switch, double pulse, L sweeps, now if you want, you could always take this into a flexed foot. So I'm going to actually take it into a flex foot so that I release through the quads. It helps me to alleviate pressure out of the hips as well. So really tight hips. Breathe. So flexing helps to alleviate that tension and really drive the core work here. Press. Now I'm going to take you into singles here. Sweeping L's. Up and out. Scoop the needle in. You could always modify as well with a bent knee. So if you have really tight hamstrings and you need to modify with a bent leg, always an option. Or maybe go back to those straight legs in four, three, two. The last one, I'm going to flip it around to go into some plank work. So from here, coming into your plank, we've got a triple knee drop. Pull the knee in. We go one, two, three. Bring it back to center. Tap. Tap, tap, center. So we go across, center to the outside. Woo, that burns. Reach, press. You're going to feel this one. Reach, tap, side, center. Reach, tap, side. Core is active, really strong here. Reach, bring it back in. We've got the opposite side. Here we go. Cross, center. Side, press, cross, center, to the outside, lift, reach. So just a very little hip drop. Ooh, this one's very challenging, reach, press. And if you need to modify, maybe you're just holding a plank today. Bring it back up through center, find your elbow plank. Just hold here for a moment. Drop the shoulders down, create one long line from the heels all the way into the tip of the head. Tricep tap. In. I want you to really drive it in. Working through those obliques, hitting up those side bodies here. Press. Breathe. You all have to start somewhere. So if you need to, just hold your elbow plank today if you need to modify. Hug it in, press, getting that strong, sexy core working here, breathe, whittling through the waistline, press, inhale, exhale, drop the shoulders, down, the back, we move right along into our sideline position, into our crunches from here. So sideline extension. 
Again, working through the oblique here. Think of a little wood chop with that outside palm. Careful not to slump in your shoulder joint. You really want to come up and out of those shoulders. Are you feeling that burn? Reach and press. I'm feeling it. Hope you're there with me. Exhale. Up and out of shoulders. Reach. Hug it in. Continue to breathe throughout all of these exercises. Really being mindful of our breath whenever we work out here. Press. Stretch those toe tips away. I'm actually taking them to a little diagonal. Last one, we've got the other side. Let's quickly transition. Take it to the other side. Up and out of the shoulder joint. We take it in and out. So we sweep and press. In and press. Squeeze. Up and out. Find that contraction. I always have to remind myself to really lift up and out of these exercises so that I'm not allowing the fatigue to set in and compromise my form. So keep your form very strong throughout all of these exercises. Press, reach. Press, exhale. Breathe. Keep it moving. One last one. From here, we're gonna lie supine down onto our backs, and then we're gonna reach those toes. Just gonna bend that left knee. So we lift, twist. Exhale, twist. So we're lifting up, we're twisting. Breathe. So try to control that landing. Reach. So slowly coming down, one vertebra at a time. Again, being very mindful of our form and alignment here. So I want you to exhale at the apex, the top range of motion. Exhale. Now we switch to the opposite side. Bring that right leg in this time. You've got the opposite side. Reach it overhead. Here we go. We lift, twist, lift, and twist. So think of bringing out your waistline here. Think of your waistline as a sponge, and you're wringing out the water from the sponge here. I always like to use analogies. It helps me to have imagery to really focus on the task at hand. Exhale, reach and twist. Scoop that belly in. Reach slow. Breathe. Exhale. Give me one last one right here. Lift it up, twist it, come back through center. Tabletop your legs, scoop the navel in, hands behind the nape of the neck. We're just going to take crossing twist here. Up and reach. Cross twist. Now try to keep those legs nice and static so they're not wiggling and wobbling all over the place. And if you want to flex your toes here, always an option to flex through those toes. Breathe. If you want to go slightly higher with your tempo, if you want to go a little bit quicker, you can do so, or you can stay at that slower tempo. So maybe you're taking it a little bit quicker, but again, really focusing on those hips, staying anchored, and staying within that tabletop range of motion here. Reach, press. From here, we move right along into leg circles. So breathe, inhale, exhale, big leg circle. So I want you really reaching that toe tip away from the body. Push it away. Big circle. Elongate. Scoop navel in. Really finding the small of the back. Trying to aim towards the mat here. 
You've got that drawing in and up maneuver from the abdominals here. Now let's reverse that circle. Same thing here, if you need to flex your toe tips, absolutely fine. You're still gonna get that core work in. But pointing the toes sometimes really helps you to think about elongating the movement and really finding those long, lean lines within the body here. We're almost there, guys. Last exercise, let's push through. Go eight, seven, six, in five, in four, three, two, last one. Hug it in. You made it, guys. Give yourself a little rock side to side. If you want, you can take a tabletop stretch here and then just open up. Inhale and exhale out. We'll take it to the opposite side. A little spinal twist here. Open it out. Breathe. And then just hug those knees in once more. Great job, guys. 